Tally Ho there. Today I'm having a look at the Mizu EP52 Magnetic Neckband Stereo Bluetooth Headset. Now this is a Bluetooth headset that is water resistant. So if you're running, sweating, or you're caught in the rain, they are water resistant. That's IPX5. They are noise cancelling. It's not like your high end, like say Bose noise cancelling, but it is pretty effective. And especially as these are earbuds or plugs, so they actually block out a lot of the noise anyway being earbuds now they're actually three grams per earplug if you have a look at it they're packaged premium and if you don't know anything about miso you probably heard of xiaomi and huawei and well miso are sort of like just below those sort of brands they're still a big brand in china so you can actually trust that these is not just throwaway Chinese stuff. This is actually quality kit here. Of course, with this Bluetooth headset, you can use it to answer your phone calls and obviously talk on the phone. It's sort of made out of high grade silicon material that is very comfortable and it will not give you rashes or anything like that. The cable length is 0.8 meters there. Charging time's about two hours. Of course, you can connect this to your iPod, your iPhone, your Android phone, or just anything with Bluetooth, really. It has 10 millimeter drivers in it. Frequency response of 20 to 20,000 hertz there. You'll get about seven hours battery life with these. I've got about seven. Depends on your volume. You probably get more if you turn down the volume a bit. Depends where you are, if you're in a quiet or noisy area. Where I live, it's pretty noisy, so I have to turn them up a bit. But seven hours, no problems. And their range is about 10 meters. It's Bluetooth 4. Point one. The battery size in it is 130 milliamp hour. And as you can see, it's packed premium. Looks like a premium product. They're very comfortable to use. The earbuds themselves are magnetic. So if you have it sort of hanging there like a necklace around your neck there, you can put the buds together and they'll just sit in the middle of your chest instead of flapping about everywhere. On the right hand side, you have the controls. Just one button there that's a volume up and volume down. Also, you press and hold it to turn it on and off and answer your calls, of course. Also there you have the charging port where you just uncover one flap and you can start charging it. Of course, it just charges via normal USB. And I guess the most important thing about this is how does it sound? Well, it's Bluetooth. So you're never gonna get the quality of a wired headset. You just never will. That being said, they are decent quality. They're particularly really good with bass. And I listen to a lot of podcasts the voice is like clear. I cannot tell the difference between the wide pair and this when it comes to just normal podcasts. Music, you will tell the difference because it is a bit more compressed. But overall for a Bluetooth headset and considering the price of it compared to some other Bluetooth headsets that are far more expensive than this and are no better quality. Um, I think you're picking up a pretty good bargain here and a high quality product. I guess there's really not that much to complain about for the price. Good battery life, good sound. It's easy to use, comfortable. And if you're after a Bluetooth headset, definitely check this one out, especially for its price. I'll leave links in the description where you can buy this. I got them from Gearbest and yeah, they're a bargain actually. So Miso for the win here. I would actually like to check out some of their phones now considering the quality of this. I'm really impressed with the quality. So I want to check out some of their phones now. I've heard a lot about them and I want to check them out. I'm going to check some out. So anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're new around here, why not subscribe? I'd like to really thank you guys for watching. And until next time, guys, tally ho.